Hi guys, this is Rishav Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video guys, I will show you that how can you create a table inside a database. Firstly guys, I will click on the databases. It will show me the list of the databases which I have created. So I will select students database because I am going to create a table inside this students database. So firstly what you need to do, you need to enter the name of the, data, uh, name of the table. So I will give it a name of students record and then after that number of columns means how many columns you want to create in this table because all the data will be stored inside these tables so first column I will create of ID and second of student uh, means firstly will be the ID which will be unique of every student after that name email and then his address and then joining date means I will create five columns in this table so I write 5 and then I will click on this go button. So firstly I will enter ID. Second is name. Third is email. Address and then last one is joining date. So we have entered names of all the columns. Why now we need to specify the data type of each column. So first column is ID which will be of integer type and I will give it a length of 10. Now second is name. I will select Varchar and I will give it a limit of 40 characters means nobody will be en uh, able to enter more than um, in the name of more than 40 characters. The maximum which you can specify is 255 for Varchar but in this we will specify 40 means no it is limiting the name column to 40 characters so for email I will again select watcher then address for address we will use text means we don't uh, f the main difference between the watcher and text is for watcher you can specify maximum length is 255 but if we will talk about the text you don't need to specify any length it is unlimited now joining date we will select date now for the in ID you know that ID will be unique so for that we will select this prime we will apply the primary key and auto increment means it will a new if a new row will be added it will increment it by one so when we will uh, means in the upcoming videos when we will insert the values then I uh, in that video I will show you what is the main use of primary key and auto increment so after that you need to just click on save now you can see the table has been created so I will select it you will see you can see the structure of this table it's ID name ID is of integer type name is of watcher email watcher address text joining date date it means its data type is date and auto increments is also applied on this ID so in this way you can create tables in MySQL in the next video I will show you that how can you insert values in these tables so guys if you still have any question you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next story